Hello, welcome back to another Analytics Friday. It is Bree E. Anderson here. I am just double checking. Yep, everything's looking good. Well, it is finally Friday. Um, I am going to be speaking at Social Media Marketing World in just a few days. So I've been stressing about that all week. But it's all right. We're here now. We're going to do some uh, really cool things. Today, we are going to be looking at how to connect Data Studio and Facebook together for free. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the organic version, but you can actually do this for paid stuff as well. Um, so that's super exciting. Uh, before we get started, though, I do want to shout out our friends over at Ahrefs for sponsoring yet another um, Analytics Friday. I am dropping a link below to their webmaster tools. You can access Ahrefs webmaster tools for free, it, like unlimited, and it runs like audits and all sorts of really cool things for you. Um, I did a video about it not too long ago. Um, so if you look back on my YouTube channel, you will see that. But Alas, let us get started here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We are over here. Open says me. No, that is the wrong screen. Now you see everything that I'm seeing. That's not what I meant to do. Share screen. Um... Here we go. Okay, so um, as most of you probably know, when you try to create a uh, data studio report and find a Facebook connector, when you type in Facebook into the connect um, data, so if you were to go to add data here and then type in Facebook, maybe, there's nothing here. Um, there are some partner connections down here at the bottom, but all of these are paid. Um, and some of these things can be really expensive. Um, but, you know, if, if it's what you have access to, then sometimes it's worth it. However, I've been testing and playing with this website called syncwith.com. So let me go ahead. I'm going to Add this, let's see, we'll do syncwith.com. So this is syncwith.com. Um, you can see that if you scroll down, um, there are tons of APIs that it connects to or will help you get connected to. So there's a lot of public ones on here, um, finance, weather, um, crypto type stuff, but you will see that they also have like marketing and SEO and e-commerce and all of that kind of um, fun stuff that's actually going to be really helpful. And this is what we're going to tap into. So I selected marketing. Um, like I said, you can see that there's Google and Instagram on here. Uh, you can do SEO. You got Search Console, SimRush, Ahrefs. Um, you can get your Shopify or Etsy, Asana, I mean, seriously, there's so many things and I'm not even looking at all of them, but um, I know like they have FreshBooks, uh, social media here, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube. Um, let's see. MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, Pipedrive, Salesforce, and Desk. Right. Okay. So tons of things. We're going to go to marketing here. And then under marketing, uh, you'll see all of the, the Facebook options they have here. These are just some basic things that they do. So analyze your ad campaigns with key metrics like clicks, CTR, and, and spend. We're not doing that. Get insights about your Facebook pages. I don't want that. I want engagement of specific posts um, because for me, this is going to be a lot more useful than anything else. So to get started, really, all you have to do is select try it. And if you um, are just getting started, it will have you go through an authentication um, process. So I'm just going to say connect account. It'll pull up my Facebook here. 
um, and I can edit which pages it has access to, what kind of access it has to all of it, um, whether I want to give it access to business accounts or just my personal accounts, all of those kinds of things. I'm already connected on here though, um, so I, I don't really need to go through that process. So you can see my authentication is my Brianna Anderson account. I have my Brie E. Anderson selected profile. So this is for um, my Facebook page. I could do this for Instagram as well because my Instagram account is actually connected through SyncWith right now. Um, but we're just going to do Facebook for now. Date range, I'm just going to select all time. And then I can go through all of these dimensions and select what I want to pull. So I'm going to do created time, um, full picture, ID, message, and URL. Actually, I don't want ID because I don't really care about the ID. Now I can go through the metrics. So likes, comments, shares, impressions, reach, not going to do paid. So that's like if you boost it, right? So it's not your ads. Um, this is just if you boost the posts that are like natively on your page, okay? Um, we're going to do engaged users, sure, viral impressions, viral reach. I'm just going to pull as much as I can in here. Reactions, like, love, wow, haha. I don't care about sorry and anger because I don't think I really get those. Link clicks, we'll do um, video plays. Uh, unique video views. Okay. And then sort, I'm going to do by create time descending. And all I have to do is select run. So this is going to take a minute, um, but it's going through and it's collecting all of that information for me uh, via the Facebook post API. So it's going, going, going. And here we are. Uh, all of my Facebook posts ever. Great. So that's all of it. Um, now I'm going to create a Google Sheet. So I all you have to do is hit this get Google Sheet. And it's generating now. It's going to show this. All it's telling you is that you have to get the sync with um, API for like loaded on uh, Google Sheets. So when you come into Google Sheets, this is just a blank sheet, you'll need to go to extensions and you'll have to add the add on. So add ons here, you go to manage add on and you need to add the sync with API. Um, so that's what it's telling you to do. And then you just hit use template. And so it's like, hey, you ready to get your data? Blah, blah, blah. This is how you do it. Great. I'm just going to say use. Um, and this is going to do something probably. There we go. So now it's loading. So it pulls like, I'll show you another way to do it, but it pulls through all the things I already said that I wanted in this report right here. It's pulling it through. So now all of this information is right here in the sheet um, because there is another way you can do it. Like once you have the extension, uh, you can just go to extensions, sync with API, manage connections, and it's going to pull this up and I could always just type in Facebook here, but then I would have to put in all the parameters and everything by myself, uh, which is fine. And it for most people, it's, I guess it's probably not a big deal, um, but it's a much better user experience if you just do it right on the Sync With uh, website, if it's possible. Anywho, okay. So now we have all this information in, um, in our Google Sheet. And as most of you know, I'm sure, uh, we can pull this into Google Data Studio. Now, I will say you're going to want to, so I'm going to go into extensions here, actually. We're going to make some changes to this sheet. Um, so if you hit the down button and edit, you'll see this is all the information that we have here. Um, 
And where it says status row, we're going to hide the status row because we want to be able to use these headers. So I'm just going to select update. It's going to go through all this again. And then we will be able, yes, except for now, now it's bolded everything, but that's fine. That's not going to hurt anything. So, um, has this I don't need this row locked unfreeze row okay cool <coughs> excuse me oh my goodness uh, okay um so now all this is in here and as most of you know we can add a google sheet as uh, a data source here in um Data Studio. So I'm going to select a Google Sheet. And the name of this is Facebook Post Insights Sync With. And we're on the Facebook Page Insights Sheet. That's important. Um, the instructions are on the first sheet. Uh, but we're using the Facebook Post Insights Sheet. Use first row as headers. Yes. Include hidden and filtered cells. Sure. I'm going to say add. And this is going to take a second because it's sifting through all the data. And here we go. So here are all the dates. Um, oh, we need to edit this data source. Oh, it pulled the, it pulled it with the, okay, hold on. We need to change this edit connection. Hold on, let's change the name of this so it's easier to find because I have two of them. Uh, uh, Facebook posts. I'm going to actually get rid of this, delete, okay, boom, all items owned by me, Facebook posts, post insights, so, okay, make sure, yes, all right, reconnect, and now it's going to be like, there are all these new things, perfect, apply, and now we'll see all of these, I don't know why all of them came through as dimensions, that's fine though. So um, our date dimension is the created time. Um, we are probably going to have to parse that, but that was for another day. Uh, yeah, that's going to need to be parsed, but we'll get to that momentarily. Um, okay, I absolutely hate seeing row numbers, so I'm going to get rid of those really quickly. But now we can see, and like maybe we don't, I, I guess in theory, we really don't even know or need that right now. But let's do full picture here, which is kind of a bummer. It's really just the um, the link to the pictures. So let's change that to, we'll do message here. And so this has, um, the copy that was in the post. And then we will start adding in um, the different things that we want to see. So link clicks, let's do that. Uh, comments, likes, shares, uh, viral impressions. Sure, I don't know. I'm just adding all these things in here. And so now you can see all these things are coming through and you have information for each of them. So like um, you could have each of your posts and then how many comments like shares, link clicks, you know, whatever. Let's see. We could have... Mm -hmm. It's going to take some cleaning up, but it's all coming through for free. Um, so, yeah, this is just a, a regular table. But you could also, like, this would be really cool for sorting by, like, maybe we want to sort by um, likes. Let's change this to likes. And now we can see all the, the um, posts that got the most likes. So... 
Ever wanted to know what ads your competition is running on Facebook? That got the most likes. And then recap from my talk from AMA Wichita, Insane News, all this. Viral impressions. That one had viral impressions. Um, this had viral impressions. I'm setting up a new site to get ready for launch. Right? Agora Pulse hooked me up with their new power reports. All sorts of fun things that we can find in here. Uh, and, and you can use it for all of the different things. So let's say um, you are you have a client that you like manage social and like other things that you want to report on here. I don't know. We're going to add, maybe you want to add um, a scorecard and say, this is how many, just in general, this is how many impressions we had uh, over the last month. Now, like I said, we do have to parse the date. So where is the created time? very interesting why does the created time come through like oh so it's date month day or year month day time and it looks like this i um, would have to figure out how to fix that because i honestly don't know. Date and time. Hmm. Yeah, I would have to look because I don't know off the top of my head how in the world those came out to be that. Uh, let's see. Is there another? Yeah, there's not another thing. So we would have to use that period of time. I'm going to have to look into that um, <clears throat> because then you could like have, you know, your, your control here for the date range. And you would be able to say like, I want to see um, these four days or wait, these four days um, and compare to the, the previous period or something like that. Right. Um, and that would be really, really useful for, clients uh that want to look at that or if you want to look at that or if you want to do like a comparison have like you know our impressions went up month over month or week over week you would be able to do that but we have to figure out first how to get that um date range parsed uh so yeah but that's really i mean again we're just using the sync with um api extension for uh google sheets and the cool thing is too <clears throat> you can use this to you can have it run uh you can do a manual refresh or you can come in and refresh it daily and if you did that since it's pulling all time it would pull in all of your new content as well and all of the new metrics uh, or you can do a schedule it to automatically refresh daily, then you don't even have to worry so that all this data is always going to be up to date. This is just all my Facebook post data. And I don't ever really have to worry about it again. Um, and like I said, they have tons of APIs that you can work with in here. I'll probably do a couple more tutorials with them. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If there's any one of these specifically that you would like to see, um, let me know and I'll try and get it done as soon as possible. But I really hope this was helpful. Go give the Sync With team some love uh, because they really, really nailed it with this one. Uh, I will see you next week for another Analytics Friday. And don't forget, 